All my life, I've never felt like I fit into anywhere. A jigsaw piece for the wrong puzzle, a forever stranger. I've spent the better part of my days forming strange pockets full of madness in different parts of the world, just so I could feel like I belong for a short amount of time before passing on like a floating ghost to a new place full of new people who for the most part don't give a fuck who I am. And the cycle of moving continues because there's something deep inside of me that keeps me moving, that tells me I don't belong here, maybe the next place you do. And when I get to a new place, knowing nobody but my hardened face, I send messages after messages out to strangers who love art, literature, music, hoping to catch one soul kind enough to open their doors to me. And without fail, from Beijing to Berlin, Melbourne to Morocco, no matter where I go, rejections flood in one after the other because, after all, I'm a stranger from a place unknown who can't stay in one place long enough to no longer be a stranger. If I'm lucky, a message will finally come my way to meet someone who maybe I can walk the street with screaming, laughing, writing down all the madness the world has to offer. But usually, when I show my true self to a stranger, many get scared and run away because I look at the world too different to understand, to relate to, and I act as death is distant and far away because life's worth living now. Sometimes it's easy to get sad when you see what you created blossom in the place you left behind. To see a movement actually moving once you moved away and to see those friends you made having a great time feeling far from alone where you, the person who brought everybody together is tapping away at a typewriter in a candlelit room all alone, in a place that doesn't know you, that rejects you again and again. Just like the place you left behind before you stopped becoming a stranger until you was again.